Take a breath all the way in. And all the way out. So what have you been doing for exercise after your event? You've been doing some stretching? Like I had to stretch because of, of my knee. Like I have to keep back on that so it doesn't cramp up on me. And through your nose, take a breath all the way in. And all the way out. We've been like, I haven't really been home more than a couple days, like in, in California anyway. How long have you been in Monterey? You've got the event this afternoon, it's been a while. Oh, uh, that's it. I have every day planned until I get my knee surgery. It's like constant moving. Okay. Do that. Like I did the warm up and the, and the cool down and stuff. So uh huh. That's stretching. Good. Yeah, plenty of movement. I notice that as I'm pressing here, it's unwinding a bit, but you're you know just holding a fair amount of tension with all that travel. I'll make a couple little knots right there. We're gonna come back on. Around this side. I my neck like it was super out, and then all of a sudden I fell apart. <laughs> How was the air over there? It wasn't bad. That's good. Take a breath all the way in. Okay. And all the way out. And I'm going to bring this table up just a little bit. So is this that little spot you were talking yeah, about in your neck? Right there. Yeah. Feels like it's calmed down a bit. Will I be able to disconnect that necklace chunk? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we're going to come back to that. So that, let that relax right there.
Is that true enough? Uh, if you're plenty warm, that might be good. Your arms hang over the side for a moment. Good. That's the tightest spot. breath all the way out. And I think that's the one that's locked up. Uh-huh. I'm going to have you turn face up. To your right side, hold that. To your left side, hold that. Good, let that go. Hold that like right where you tried to adjust behind my scalp. Uh huh. It's like pain in Hold that. We're going to start way up at the top. That's it. So let me do all the work. First, we're going to swing to the left. That's it. There you go. Now we're going to come all the way to the right. That's it. Let your head drop. That's the rest of it. Good job. Bring this up. Tongue to your right side. Hold that. Good. To your left side. Good. Put your left thumb right there. Hold that. Let that go. Leave your breath all the way out for me. Good. Leave your breath out. A little longer. Good shot. <laughs> Just like that. Good. Yeah. Bring this arm up. Hold that. There we go. Let this elbow bend. Hold your straight. Hold up straight. Good. This one's in. Turn like so. Even more. Hold toward this shoulder. Good. Real straight. Hold toward this hip. We're going to come back on that in a second. Come way down here. Turn this in. And put this right up against your ribs. Hold and strong for me. Good. Do the back stroke. Way back. Good, let's see this one. Good. Take both shoulders down towards your hips. There you go. Leave your arms down. We're going to travel this way. Job. Hold that strong. Good. I'm going to reflex right here. Hold that strong. Good. And strong oh, this down. I felt that one right there. Yeah. I'm going to have you reach up toward the ceiling. Both arms. Both arms, yeah. And turn this way and wrap way around like you're trying to touch your spine. Take a breath in. Hold your breath. Lift your head. Let your breath all the way out. Good. Leave your breath out. I'm going to fold you up. Leave your breath out. 
thing. Leave your breath out. One more. Good. Oh. Let's see what else we got. That felt good. Is that all right? Yeah. That unlocks some of that tension. Bring this arm up. Hold it back. Curiosity, since I see you so rarely, I'm going to check both sides. I don't like to miss anything like that. Come on. Hold that. Hold that. Okay, let's have you bend your knees, plant your feet side by side, lift your hips. Unlock that little twist in the pelvis. Mm -hmm. right. It's an option to making a pretzel out of you. With all the cycling and riding you're doing, I think we're going to let gravity do the work when we borrow this one. Hold that. Good. Through your nose. Take a breath all the way in. Let that go. And all the way out. Yeah. Let's borrow this arm again. Hold that. Good. Take a breath in. Hold your breath. Put your breath all the way out, bend both knees. Good. Plant your feet together for me. Push apart real strong. Good. Pull together. One more and more. Don't let me pull apart. Uh -huh. Even more. One more time. Real strong. Give me the best you got. Oh, you're strong. You're a cyclist. There you go. Oh, uh -huh. How come I'm winning? You're a cyclist. There's like a spot that hurts. Like right in the pelt. Like Okay, so let's see what we can do about that. So let's have you put your heels in and your toes out. Good. Knees together and push apart. Good. And again. Good. And again. Good. I'm and all now. lateral. You're thinking I'm like this way. But <laughs> no, you're doing great. Push in. Good. That doesn't oh, hurt. It does? Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Push in. Good. Push in. All right. Toes in, heels out. Good. Push apart. Good. And again. And again. That's coming out of line. Good. Pull in. And again. And again. Good. Now feet straight. Good. Push apart. Good. And again. Good. And again. Yeah, because I have to be on the inside for you to pull in. Good. Pull in. There we go. Now I'm getting some resistance. Pull in. Okay, is that feeling better? <laughs> yeah. Give me another one. Hold real strong, real strong, real strong, real strong. Oh, is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Lift up. Okay. Oh. There you go. Yeah, so as an example, when you're pedaling, you're right, it's these muscles that move you this way that are working the hardest. Yeah. However, the lateral stabilizers are Turning. the ones that transmit your body power into the bike. Shred the turn. Yeah, exactly. So we need to have those strong too. So your emphasis mostly is on building these yeah. circular muscles. Right? And what I want to do is focus on these lateral muscles. Okay. So things like standing, doing a hip hike, yeah. 20 times. Maybe even put an ankle weight on. When that's easy, take this leg out to the side. Okay. Do that 20 times. And then opposite way, same thing. Okay. Strengthen those muscles on both sides. All right, legs go down, this comes up, hold that, good, hold that, good, 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 turn face down for me. Okay, arms by your side, push your legs apart strong, good, pull together, more, 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 and relax, let the legs drop. This leg for me. Come halfway down, point the toe, hold real strong. Those are really sore from the gym the other day. Push in strong. 
That's a good one. And this one. Come halfway down. We're just testing the hamstring. Hold that. That's not so good. And this one, I'm not going to push hard, but hold in strong. Yeah, not so much there. All right, so let's fix that. Can I have you do one push-up? Mm -hmm. oh, maybe one half a push-up until I get this position just right. Okay, so we found one out of four that's working, right? Hold in strong for me. Good, that's working. So let's see what we can do to make that only one of push in strong. That's not the way. And push in strong. There we go. Let me do all the work. Is that tender up here? Yeah. Okay. So when that goes away, then we're halfway done. There you go. So breathe all the way into your belly. two or three times, just like that, all the way into your belly. Are you working just the muscles or what? The joint between the big bones of your hip and the little middle bone called the sacrum. Right? We have a sacroiliac joint on each side, we have two of them. That joint sometimes doesn't move as well as it really ought to. Sitting in the car in the plane there? Or what? Yeah, lots of sitting will create stress <clears throat> for this joint actually. And and because it's not like a knee or an elbow that has a lot of movement on its own, once it starts to lock up, it has a hard time unlocking. Your bigger joints that move a lot, they kind of balance themselves out just because we're moving. This joint, if we're sitting a lot, it just doesn't get enough. How is that? Better? Yeah. Good. Bend this leg for me. Point the toe, come halfway down, pull strong. There we go. Let that go. Bend this leg. Hold that. Good. Take a breath in. Hold your breath. And let your breath up and go all the way up on the hands and knees so your hips are right above your knees. Good. I'm going to have you come back just that much. Hold in strong. Don't let me pull the leg out. Good. Hold in strong. Don't let me put the leg out. Four fingers of your right hand go right here. Kind of in the pocket. Hold in strong. Okay. So rest face down. So we're going to find a ticklish spot. There's usually one right there. That's the one. Is that okay? Yeah. And it's got a partner either here or it's like this one. Nerve or something. Exactly. Take a big breath. There you go. Even one more time. Is that getting less sensitive yet? Yeah. Good. We call these neurolymphatic junctions. They're places where nerve and lymph tissue come together and regulate muscle behavior and circulation. Take a breath in. Let it all the way up. Good. And come up on hands and knees. Hold in strong. Put your right hand right there. Hold it strong. Excellent. So rest face down. We're going to check just a few muscles and you're on your way. This leg comes straight out and straight up with the knee real straight. Uh, no, just push the heel toward the window and lift the leg straight up. There you go. Even more. Don't only push down. Excellent. Don't only push down. Excellent. Push your leg out and relax. Push your leg up and relax. Push your leg up and relax. Push your leg up and relax. Good. Push your leg up. Good. And push the leg up. There you go. The 
this leg comes straight and up toward the ceiling. Hold up strong. Good. This arm is going to come straight up and out. Thumb to the ceiling. Push up. Up that guy. This arm comes out. Push up. That feels pretty good. Let's come back to this one. Hold up. Up that guy. That's like right there. Okay. Good, bring this arm up and out, push up, push up, push up, push up. Feels like you're not pushing very hard. Oh, man. There's always a spot. There we go. Is that getting better? Feels good. Oh, right there. There we go. Okay, extend your right arm straight out, thumb toward the ceiling. Come way over here, hold up strong. Good. Let that go. Something there. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to have you do is take this arm and reach down towards your body. There's fine. There you go. Let all this relax. Come this way. Good. That's great. Let this arm drop over the side. This one hangs way down here. Good. And then come all over this way. Little. Good. Now bring this arm straight up. Oh. Good. Hold up strong. Oh, feel that. That's great. Is that all right? Yeah. That was kind of stuck. That must have been sleeping on the airplane. That's all good. So what happens when you get stuck between two big volleyball things? Well, I was on the aisle, and then the guy was like six foot five, and I was like, uh, you want the aisle? That was kind of me. Yeah, it's better he had some leg room. Well, this is feeling a little better here, too. Yeah. You going to come through Monterey again soon? Um, at the end of the month, I think. Good. Will I get a chance to see you? Yeah, if you let me come. <laughs> Great. It'll be last minute again. I got it. Sort well, give me a holler. We'll do our best work with you. Sort of day by day. All right. You take a breath and come up whenever you're ready. My name is Jill Kittner. Um, I'm a professional cyclist in the sports of BMX and four cross mountain biking. And um, I've been a chiropractic patient my whole life, and I'm also now an Olympic bronze medalist. So, <laughs> Dr. Gunther, who lives here in Monterey, um, he came down to the, our training center a few times, and we had like regular visits with him just to make sure that we're all like feeling good and aligned and everything. And it, I mean, it makes a huge difference, like to me personally. If I feel a little bit off, it's like I can tell and you know, your neck being out will like react to something else that you don't even know and just having overall general health and you know, chiropractic is part of the whole, it's a piece of the puzzle like you build with that or like acupuncture like I said or massage therapy, I mean, and eating right and being ex like healthy and active so 
I mean, it's, it's a vital piece of our performance plan. And you know, we came to you and then it's like a method where it's different, like we haven't seen that before. And it's, you leave feeling so much better and it's, if you feel good, you're going to do good. And that's part of the whole process that, to get to that point. And, uh, you know, I had injuries. First place you go is chiropractic just to make sure that you're in alignment, you don't have any pinched nerves and like everything's functioning properly. Like, how is your knee, by the way? It still gets sore every now and then, rehabbing, and just wear a brace, and it's fine. So it still needs to be stabilized nice to feel good, and if you neglect that, it starts to get... Yeah, so... And we'll get you ready for your next event, because I know you're on your way to a sponsor event. Yeah. Yeah, starting off a whole new... Yeah, I need to...